despite everything I've done since being in this chair, all I ever wanted to do was walk. That's all I've ever wanted, is to be able to walk again. My name is Val Fisher. I'm married. I've um, got four children. And I was uh, paralysed in a horse riding accident seven years ago. Well, the accident happened on um, quite a windy evening and really it all happened so quickly that I didn't have time to think other than I just hope that the horse is going to run up the yard and not towards the, the highway. And then I, and I, I blacked out. I spent 14 weeks in the spinal unit at Oswestry. Seven of those weeks, I was um, completely um, on the bed and unable to, um, to move. My first um, realisation was when I got home, I actually couldn't get in the house, which it just seemed ridiculous that I couldn't get my chair up these two small steps. And that was a very overpowering sort of feeling of um, being shut out from my own home. And yet there was also these emotions that I was so happy to be at home with everybody. Um, but it was such a false um, excitement because I wasn't the same person. So although I was coming home, which was very exciting, it was also really, really frightening that I wasn't the same person. I didn't feel the same person um, physically and emotionally I was no longer that strong person, that strong character that I'd always been before for my family. The rewalk suit, for me, would mean that I would be able to just walk around in the countryside again and um, get outdoors and be with the horses, maybe able to groom the horses. It was quite an overpowering moment because actually seeing the suit on the internet doesn't really give you a concept of what the, the suit actually is physically like. And you get all these ideas of what it will be like and, um, well, I, I got down there and I had um, a, a pre-fitness check with the physio and then there was a set of parallel bars and they explained that um, I would be sitting on a chair at, in between the parallel bars and that they would teach me how to stand. And this, this, was, this was performed and the, the suit just stood up. And it was just the most weird feeling that, that there was something that your body was in that was controlling that you, your movement and you were moving upright, which I hadn't done for over five years. And all of a sudden this suit just seemed to take off between these parallel bars because I was, I was rocking because he said to me, yes, lean your, lean your weight to the left, lean your weight to the right. And my feet were just moving through. I was walking. was when I, I just felt that, yeah, I, I would be able to walk outside and he asked me what my goal was with the suit and I just said, I want to be able to walk outside on that grass. And he said, oh, well, uh, that's probably not gonna happen this week. We'll see how it goes. But by Wednesday, we'd, we'd made that goal and we'd walked outside and it was just the most amazing feeling. After trying out the rear walk suit, I came back from the trial with lots of different emotions and, and realised profoundly that, that perhaps walking wasn't the be-all and end-all of everything. I actually 
realised that there was far more to life than just walking and that the experiences that I'd had since being in the wheelchair um, had developed me more as a person and more as a, as a stronger person with um, lots more in life that I, that I could look towards and enjoy. I can't stress really the importance of my family and my friends because without them I would not have been strong enough to, to, to get on the journey, to take part in this sort of adventure that, it, that it's become in a way, in a strange kind of way. I can remember when I was very newly injured on the spinal unit and my friends and my family were all round my bed. I have a picture of one of my sons that was just behind the curtain, and the curtain had just had a crack. And I can remember thinking, this can't be happening to me. I've got to, I've got to get better. I've got all these people that mean the world to me, and I can't give up. I've got to fight. It's a strange feeling, accepting that your world has been flipped upside down. I live in these white walls alone No regard to where I'm going or where I'm coming from I smoke my weed and watch TV Doing all this thinking's made me weary of my 